Stan. Mark Mahaney joins us now from Evercore ISI. Mark, good to see you. Thanks so much for, for joining us. Uh, what, what do you make of the pullback that, that we've seen this, this week? Was it a bit overdone or did it make sense given uh, the inflation print and the pressure on yields? I think it made sense. I think Michael set it up uh, pretty well. Um, there's kind of two camps here. There's spec tech, so speculative valuation tech. Those are the stocks that traded those high price-to-sales multiples because they don't have near-term substantial profitability in that sector. Even in an update like today on the NASDAQ tape, those still modestly move up. They sort of underperform. And then you have your kind of gold standard tech. i got to come up with a better phrase than that, but I'm talking about Microsoft, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Google. And those uh, those hold up pretty well in this, uh, this market. And those, I think, when the tape turns, when the market comes back to growth, those will be the first to, I think, outperform. Of the gold standard tech, Mark, which is your top pick on this pullback? If you're going to give me Amazon at a discount to its average forward multiple with uh, a very strong print they just put out, but more importantly, guidance that suggests that their growth is elevated post-COVID than pre-COVID, I'll, I'll suggest uh, Amazon as the top pick. Single broadest winner, if you will, off of the COVID crisis, very broad, uh, diverse revenue streams, tons of cash flow coming in, very attractive valuation. Do you change your estimates at, at some point, Mark, uh, on this, this rethink of how we value growth yeah. in a world of higher inflation and higher rates? Yes, I do. Uh, I have to seriously think about that. We're going through what I think is the great derating. I'm exaggerating, but the point is there. You know, we're seeing two of the names that are reporting tonight, uh, DoorDash and Airbnb, in the last two months have had their forward multiples cut in half. Uh, any stocks that re-rated materially during the COVID crisis, their multiples, you're seeing a lot of those. One example is Trade Desk. Another one is Wix that reported yesterday. Their multiples are coming back to those pre-COVID levels. You have to justify. You're gonna, if you're going to have re-rated during COVID, you're going to have to justify that by proving that your growth outlook is stronger post-COVID than it was pre-COVID. I think a few companies can do that. I think Google can. I think Facebook can. I think Amazon can. But a lot of companies can't. And if they can't, they're going to keep re-rating or de-rating. So, so, Mark, to that point for the spec tech, as, as you put it, I mean, are you worried that there is a lot of momentum to unwind to the downside, given that there was so much to the upside last year? Could this go on for, for quite a lot longer? I don't know if it goes on for a lot longer. I think there's a lot of macro factors involved. As somebody uh, just recently pointed out on your show, I mean, Nasdaq's off uh, 8%, 9%. That's not a huge correction. Uh, you know, we could see 20 percent uh, in an environment where we really get uh, dramatic fears about rising inflation rates. So, um, you know, there could still be further. We could still see a further uh, correction in Nasdaq. We shouldn't be surprised if that happens. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. That's in the macro God's hands. Airbnb and DoorDash reporting after the bell, yeah. as you mentioned, two stocks that you covered the general thread here is that Airbnb is a reopening play and DoorDash is a stay-at-home play. Is, is it that simple? What will you be looking for? Yeah, I think that's it's sort of that simple. And they're very different setups here, uh, but they have two things in common. They're both very high multiple stocks that have had that 50 percent fall off because of their multiples coming down. And secondly, they both have lockup expirations coming up, and that's usually a selling event. They both have lockup expirations in the next 48 to 72 hours post their uh, earnings. So you'll see continued pressure. It's kind of hard to see them uh, clearly aggressively trading up when you have those lockup expirations. Then the, the, the real trade is going to be or the investment decision is going to be post those lockup expirations next week. Do you want to use this as the entry point? It'll depend on the print really quickly. Can Airbnb recover the 2019 bookings levels in the back half of the year? That's what the market expects. If they can do it, I think it's a great setup uh, on any weakness to buy the stock. DoorDash now is going to go into its toughest comp. So I, I think uh, we're, we're on the sidelines on that stock. We're going to wait and see what kind of growth rate we can have as you go against those peak COVID multiples, uh, peak, peak COVID uh, comps, I mean. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.